Good morning! As you may have noticed, this is going to be a completely different vlog as you may have seen by the title down now or up there, watching on. Today I'm actually taking you guys on a journey and how I get to Fort Park um, without using a car. So this is a brand new series I'm starting today on channel, just hope it goes pretty well. If it goes well today I'll be using it for other parts, like next week we're going to Chessington so I'll be doing one for there. But yeah, today I'm going to Fort Park Resort, it's the fourth time in this year so far and I'm taking you guys with me on how I get there. So the first thing I do in the morning, I get up, I get up and get into my local town centre, evidently in the local centre, and I go and have myself some breakfast at McDonald's, um, which is right down the bottom of the road, right down the bottom, just down that way, to um, the bottom of the high street, and I have a McDonald's breakfast in there. I tend to go for like, pancakes, breakfast with syrup, really good, and I always go with toffee latte. That I'm normally done by around about 10 to 7, 10 to 8, 5 to 8, so something like that. I then come up to this bus stop and using this timetable I double check what time the bus is so today obviously being a Saturday it's on here as 8.35 in the morning the bus I get to 9.51 and that takes me from right here in Watford all the way to Fort Park and back again for £7 each return so I'll take you guys on the bus with me and you'll see exactly how I get there along with other things as well this again as I mentioned this is the first time I'm doing something like this for the panel so I hope it goes well today and I'll see you guys on the bus in a second about now yeah. <laughs> so I'm now on the bus to the park, as you may have seen by that little bit of pictures there. It's cost you £7 each return and it's amazing, it's really good fun. It's quite busy, it's really it's quite noisy, so I apologise can't hear me as well. But yeah, this journey takes about an hour to get to the park and I recommend it to any of you guys who do not drive, obviously. I'll show you a bit more when we get closer, I'll see when we get to some of the locations as well. And you guys might get some people on the vlog as well. <laughs> so I'm on the bus at Fort Park, I've been on this one, as you should tell. Hello. Hello. Have, you, have you been to Fort Park before? <laughs> yeah. She's keeping going away. I know you see more as well. Just wave for the video. Woo! <laughs> As you see, quite a small bus today, it's quite good. It's pretty good. We're on the road, boys. Something right out there. Lots of sheep out today. We're getting transferred on the bus, off the bus coming down. I think we're going first. Can I do one thing? Can I do one thing? Go for it. Oh, you can't see. Yay. Wait, we're, going first. we're going first. It's quite good actually. It's handy. Guys, move down the bus, take a seat. This bus is going to pull past us. Woohoo! Very nice. Awesome. I'll try and get Paul in the vlog if I can as well. He's a really good driver. Of course. We're now here at Fort Park Resort, and you may have seen by a little bit of fish I've, I've just done recently on the way here. Uh, obviously, it only takes about an hour to get here. To the park itself i have got to go through for the berg search however which is normal obviously and quite expected so as i mentioned before this is the first in a series of vlogs i'm going to start here on the channel um basically telling you guys how to get to the parks without using a car or without driving so if you don't drive especially like myself it's not too busy today actually down here so i'm probably going to get quite a few rides and i'll see you guys later on in another video enjoy the videos don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Laters.